Logic functions can be implemented using AND, OR, and NOT gates. So I will show you a few examples on those. Let's have a function x not y z not or x not y z. So this function has two product terms. So this is a SOP form sum of products. So we will have an OR gate and two functions that will be two terms will be implemented by AND gates. Since there are three literals per product term, we can have we can use a three input AND gate and our inputs can be x not y z not and the second AND gate would have x not y and z and then we would just bring those two gates to an OR gate to implement our function f as you see we have first level and the second level so our inputs go to the first gate level and then the second level so that's why this circuit is a two level circuit if we think about this function let's look at it a little bit further I'll put it here again x not y z not or x not y z as you can see x not y x not y are the literals that are common in two terms and z not and z appear in the each term so we can write this function x not y in parentheses z not or z since this is one the function becomes x not y so these two functions are the same but this is the minimum SOP representation of the function f that we just uh, worked so the function could then be implemented much more simpler using just a two input AND gate so there is one more thing that I would like to say here so let's say you only have X, Y, and Z that are available for you. That means you don't have the complemented versions of inputs. So you do not have X not, Y not, and Z not. In this case, you will have to implement the circuit, uh, the function for NOT, you need to use a NOT gate. So I will take the same example that we minimized, but if we don't have X NOT, that means I have to have X and Y, so we have to use a NOT gate here to create our x not so our output would be x not y